Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today's episode is about the Blanick L13 aircraft. Blanick has come up with a fix for this problem and are currently modifying the Blanick L13 aircraft at the factory in Prague, Czech Republic. We were approached by Blanick aircraft owners here in the United States inquiring if we would be interested in being a United States based uh, facility for providing modification to the L-13 aircraft. Uh, Blanick Aircraft agreed and has sent three representatives here to our facility to train us in the modification of the Blanick aircraft. So today, Ilias, yep. uh, we have uh, the design engineer from Blanick Aircraft. He is our translator for the week. Uh, they sent three people here to train us. So. A little bit of your background. Uh, where are you from originally? Um, I'm from Kyrgyzstan. You're from Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. And how did you end up in Prague? I started studying my engineer degree in Czech Republic and after that I find a work in Blinding Aircraft and I stay in Czech Republic. So your degree is in aircraft design? Yes, aircraft design. Aircraft engineering? Yes, if aircraft engineering. Okay, okay. Aircraft and space engineering. Aircraft and space engineering. And then after graduation, you went to work for Blanick Yes, aircraft. yes. Now, how long have you been at Blanick? Uh, three years. You've been there for three years. Okay. One year like a designer and two years like a design engineer for airframe structure. Airframe specifically? Yes. Okay, very good. So now, a little bit of history on the Blanick L-13 aircraft. Uh, how many L-13 gliders have been produced over the years? Yeah, more than 1,000 Blanicks around the world. More than 1,000 of, of just the L-13s? Yeah, just the L-13s. Okay, and maybe 200 L-23 and another modification on this one. So there are other various models yes. of the Blanick aircraft. Now, originally, these aircraft were produced by Let. Yes, Let Kunovice. Mm -hmm. yes. And so when was the first aircraft produced? Uh, first aircraft uh, was produced in 1956. 56, so yes. quite a history of aircraft, uh, L-13 gliders being produced, uh, quite a few models, uh, the most popular being the L-13. Yeah. So the grounding of the L-13 fleet uh, put quite a few aircraft on the ground then yeah. worldwide. Yeah. So this design was, uh, this new improvement was engineered and uh, found uh, acceptable by yeah. YASA, by FAA. Yes. Um, so now how many aircraft uh, up to this point have been only modified at the factory? Yeah. How many aircraft have been modified at the factory? Uh, almost 50. Almost 50 aircraft. Okay. So 50 aircraft yes, at the uh, uh, factory. Uh, three aircraft were sent from the United States yeah. to the factory for modification and sent back to the United States. Yes. But we get into a logistics problem of moving aircraft back and forth uh, overseas. So having a facility here in the United States yeah makes it for ease of transportation of course if we can have aircraft modified here you came here this week uh so we have the design engineer yes. and then we have uh marek is here for fuselage work only fuselage facilities special, with 20 years experience been with blanick for 20 years yeah and then jara has, yeah. how long has he been with blanick uh, i think 10 years 10 years and he specifically concentrates on wings. Yes. Yeah, correct. So we have a wing guy here, and a fuselage guy, guy and, and the design guy, yeah. the interpreter. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Um, this course has been a learning experience, uh, not only a new aircraft for us uh, with metric hardware, but also a language barrier. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of nodding, a lot of hand motions, a lot of talking loud, but uh, I think we've communicated very yes. well. Yes. Uh, so anyways, this is your first time to the United States, yeah. and Marek and Jarov also yes, first time to the United States. So here they are in beautiful Kendallville, Indiana. Yes, and, very uh, beautiful. <laughs> they haven't seen much of it. They've seen 
the best Western hotel and <laughs> airframe components. Yeah. And uh, Applebee's. Yeah, Applebee's too. <laughs> that's all they. That's all they know of the United States right now. But uh, we, we've had very good weather here lately. Yeah. Uh, they got to visit the airport and meet some of the local glider guys yeah. here, and uh, take them to what the a house. Great community. And take them to the house for uh, supper each yeah. evening. So uh, we, they they've been well fed. <laughs> but uh, no, we, we've had them here for a week. Uh, as today's Wednesday. We'll have them here till Saturday. So one week from Saturday to Saturday. Uh, so we're hoping to get a lot accomplished. Uh, we're going to do another episode here, uh, wrapping up the uh, uh, overview of the whole project. But uh, I've been very happy with the progress we've made this week. Uh, your too. your opinion, your thoughts on the progress? I'm completely happy, and guys too. So. Okay, very good. Very good. Well, appreciate having you here, and uh, we hope you enjoy your stay here with us here. Yep. Uh, our little corner of the world here in Indiana. Um, enjoyed having you here, and I think the communication has been good. A lot of writing, a lot of uh, uh, transferring between metric and uh, United States yeah. standard, but I think we've uh, gotten along very well. Yeah, we're yeah. happy to be here and work with you. <laughs> well, very good. Well, that's all for today's episode. Stay tuned for future episodes of the Blanick L-13 Aircraft Modification Program.